building. Um, I hope everybody's well today. It is Sunday um, and we're into May now. It's our first lesson of May. So I hope you're all doing really well um, and having a nice weekend wherever you are in the world. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, we'll just give a few minutes for people to join the lesson as usual. Um, same fa format as for all the other days. Um, you can download the sheet music on my website. The links should just be below. If you want that, there's two versions. There's a slightly simpler version, there's a slightly harder version. And the, all the fingering and things are written into that. So you can download that if you want. Um, thank you so much to everybody who's been donating to the virtual tip jar. I very much appreciate that. So it's a big help. Um, and yeah, so, so we'll get going. Today we're going to be in the key of A minor. So set your heart as if you're in C major. So in E flat, you'll want E, A, B levers. And if you're in C, then you're fine. And then you're also going to add on two other levers. You're going to add on your two G levers, just either side of middle C. Okay, so this G sharp and this G sharp here. So if you're in E flat, you should now have your E, your A and your B levers on, plus two G sharps. And if you're in C, then you'll have just those two G sharps on. There's going to be quite a few lever changes in this piece. So if you don't have sharpening levers on your harp, you might need to... Um, Think of another way around that or just miss out some of the accidentals um, but I'll, hopefully i'll make it clear as we go along so this is a little finnish tune today um a finnish wedding waltz um, and it's called metsukukia i hope i'm saying that you can correct my pronunciation if it's wrong um so i'll play it for you now and then we'll get going so we'll go like this <laughs> So, um, just to recap, we're in A minor, um, so set your levers as if for C major, so E's, A's and B's, or if you're in C, just normal, and then you'll want your G sharp song on either side of middle C. So, our right hand is going to start off with a four note shape. We put our fourth finger on E, third on A, second on B, and thumb on to C. And we're just going to go... four note shape and we go up to F. Okay, so let's do those two in a row. The first time going to E and the second time going to F. And once we've played the E, there's a six count weight. Okay, so it'll be one, two, three, one, two, three. starting on B and D and we're going to go play them together 
then up one, up one again, and then back down those three. And the rhythm is going to be even on the way up, and then on the way down it's dotted. Okay, and then we go back to the middle one, back to C and E. So it's one, two and one, so nothing too fancy. So let's go from the start to there. One, two, three, two, two, three. Up to E. Two, three, four, five, six. Up to F. One, two, three, four. Now the thirds. Okay, and then our last shape, we're going to put fourth finger on E, third on G, second on B and thumb up onto D and we're going to walk up that shape and then as we reach the D we're going to set our fingers on to come down a scale so D and then C, D, A so it's up an arpeggio down a scale if you didn't pick this up when I played it at the start. This tune has three parts, so this is a slightly longer one than normal, um, but that's our first one to do. So, second part. Now, before we play the second part, we've just done this. Now, we're going to take off those two G levers, okay? That's the most important thing that we can do. So, then we jump up to high A and set thumb on A and second on G. And we're going to go... So just two notes. And then put your thumb back on that A, second finger onto F, and third onto E. And we go A, F, E, and again. And the rhythm of that is going to be um, it's one, two, three, one, two. A, G, wait, A, F, E, wait. Okay, so let's do that. One, two, three, one, two, A, G, and wait, A, F, E, and wait. Okay, and again, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, then we've got another little three note shape going down. It's just a scale, F, E, D. And then down one more, E, D, C. So our fingers are just going down. So let's do F, E, D, and then E, D, C. Okay, so if we go from the high A, it would be one, two, three, one, two. Okay, let's do that again. One, two, three, one, two. It doesn't really affect our melody right now, but will affect what our left hand is going to do. Is we have to put those G sharps back on, 
And this, so we're going to go. Um, and after we've done that set, we're going to put those two Gs on before we do the F, E, D. So let's just practice doing that. Let's take them off. So one, two, three, one, two. Levers on them. Okay. Now we've got three E's in a row. We're going to go with E, E, E. Okay. And I, I change fingers on them. One, two, one. And then set on a scale going down from that E, a four note scale of E, D, C, B. And we just go. Okay. So it's going to be E, E. just next to middle C on and our one above that okay and we go set up thumb and two on C and B and then third and fourth finger stretch all the way down onto E and D so we've got C B E D and we're gonna go so it's C B then E D E G's again. Okay, so we're starting on high A, A to G. One, two, three, one, two. G sharps on. Three E's. Scale down. Now D levers on. G levers off. One, two, three, one, two. G levers on. one and part two okay so one two three two two three and wait this time up to F now the thirds E G B You have to know exactly where you're going to do them and make sure that you do them in the same place each and every time. And then they start to become more second nature. So, on to the last part. Now, before we start that, we're going to put on this high G sharp, okay? And we're going to start off with setting thumb on A and second finger on G. And we're going to go... So, A, G, A. One more time. Now jump down and we're going to do the same thing on E, D, E. So it's 
A A G A E D E. And then C B C and then A G A. So let's practice that. So A G A E D E C B C A G A. And again, one, two, three, one, two. Now, one more thing, we're going to change back our Ds during this time. So we're going to go, then that one, then that one. Okay, so let's do that again, put them back on. One, two, three, one, two. Lower one. Okay, and then we're going to go set second finger on E and thumb on F. And we're going to go E, F, E, D, okay? And again, E, F, E, D. Now, before you play that D, set on a triad. And we're going to go up that. And back to E. So it'll become E, F, E, D, F, A, E. Let's do that again. Okay, so let's go from the start of the second half to there. So put the D sharp back on. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, let's do it one more time. So D sharp's on. One, two, three, one, two. Sorry, second on A and thumb on to B. And we're going to go. Okay, four, three, two, one. That's E, G, A, B. And now put your fourth finger back on that E, but move up all your fingers, all the rest up one. So now it becomes E and then A, B, C. Okay, so let's do the one E, G, A, B, and then E, A, B, C. Four, three, two, and C at the top, and we're going to go, and then B, A, okay, so, so let's do all of that last line, so from the E, G, A, B, one, two, three. second, uh, third part now. Uh, so put the D levers on. One, two, three, one, two. through. So take off this high G lever, so make sure now that the only extra levers you have on are this G and this G, the ones on either side, and we'll play the whole melody through. So this is a long tune, you will probably want to rewind this video a bunch of times to make sure that it's all really in there. Um, if you've got the sheet music, obviously that will help you to kind of remember all the bits and where the lever changes should go. So here we go. One, two, three, two, two. Thank 
is D sharps. Let's do it one more time. So this G sharp off. That should be it. Okay. One, two, three, two, two. what our left hand is going to do. Just take off this G sharp for now. So we're going to start off on our low A and then play a third of A and C. Okay, so. And then E and then A and C. So let's do that. So from the A. And we're going to do that three times. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, and then we're going to go on to find a D triad shape. And again, we're going to do the same pattern. So low, and then middle two, and then A, and then F, A, A. So D, F, A twice. So we've got the A shape three times. shape so stay on that you just play that A and we're gonna play it again and then the E with the A and C okay so one more of the A shape then we set on an E triad and we're gonna play twice okay and then find an A arpeggio and we're just gonna go okay so let's go through that whole pattern so from the A three times A 
So the way this fits together, it, this is actually one of the easier ones out of all the tunes that we've done to fit together because you just have this constant rhythm. And most of the time, all the notes are coming together. So our first phrase is gonna be. to the D triad the second time. So it's then D triad with F. Okay, so let's do that again. One, two, three. those G naturals. So our next little part is built up on arpeggios. So the first arpeggio is going to be a G and hopefully you change those two G lever so it will sound like that. And then we move up to our C arpeggio. Okay so let's do those two. So G arpeggio and then an A. Okay, so let's take those G's off and let's play that pattern. So G, C, E, A. One, two, three. time. 
and then we do an E on its own, and then there was a chord, so it's like an E triad shape, and then an A arpeggio down low. So if we take off those two D levers, that little last bit, so we've gone from A triad, um, A arpeggio, sorry, then E arpeggio, second half left hand. So this is kind of the part that has all those lever changes in it. So we start on G arpeggio. One, two, three, two, two, three. Then to C. Change your G levers, then E, and to A. Another A, Play the right hand. So starting on G arpeggio. So how does this fit together? So the G arpeggio is going to come with the G in the right hand. So we go, and we finish that before we do anything else. So, and then in the right hand we go, and the C arpeggio is going to come with that E. So. Those G levers. 
levers and take off those D levers. So one, two, three, one, two. high G lever on first. So we're going to start on an A triad shape and we're going to go and then E and just one of the top chords. So it's and we do that twice. And in between each of those we're going to take off one of the D's. We're going to go Start second half to there. One third part, sorry, to there. One, two, three. Sorry, put your D sharps back on first. One, two, three.
that third part there. One, two, three, one, two. So let's go nice and slow through the whole thing, okay? One, two, three, two. Um, I'll go through the variations now in the slightly harder part. Um, the 
all everything that I've taught is in the sheet music, so you can see exactly where the lever changes and exactly what the fingering is and everything like that. So um, that's that's all there for you. And again, if you want to make it easier, you can just um, like play the first note of each left hand bar or something like that. But you can just go.